Yeah, it's getting started. Loyola, Illinois, they're getting ready for their respective games on Friday. The goal this year, this time of year, I should say, is pretty elementary. You just survive and advance to play another day. Matt Zahn has made the move from spring training in Arizona all the way to Pittsburgh. He's with the Ramblers and the Illini. Matt? Yeah, Marshall, worth the cross-country trip for this. Loyola and the Illini both got their work in earlier today here inside PPG Paints Arena in downtown Pittsburgh. For Loyola, this is, of course, business as usual. Their third NCAA tournament appearance in the last four tourneys. And, of course, those have gone pretty well for them with a Final Four and a Sweet 16. Led by graduate student Lucas Williamson, the Ramblers are about as experienced as any team in the tournament. And even though this is Drew Valentine's first year as head coach, he's been on the staff for five years as well. With all the success comes expectations. Loyola is a Cinderella no more. In fact, as a 10 seed, they're favored over higher seeded Ohio State in their first round matchup. Nothing has really changed from our perspective. Um, like Ahir said, we have high expe expectations for ourselves and the way that we prepare for every single game, it's like, it's like our Super Bowl. But it has been interesting seeing like, you know, the other people and, and the outside voices, their expectations. Um, you know, like somebody asked me a question, like how does it feel to like be a favorite? Like I was like, what? Like how are we a favorite? Like, but I didn't, I didn't even know. We have high expectations for ourselves. I'm just, now that everyone else in the country can see how good we are and also has that expectation for us, I mean, that gives us confidence for sure. The Illini come in as a four seed and they'll face Chattanooga Friday evening. They were, of course, knocked out of last year's NCAA tournament in the second round by Loyola. The players say they aren't feeling the pressure after coming up short. Instead, the focus has been on playing more loose, having more fun, especially with last year's tournament played in the heart of a pandemic. I think the circumstances made it really difficult for us. I mean, you know, um, guys, like, we're all human, you know, we all got, like, you know, I feel like our mental, like, our mental health was a little bit off because, like, you know, we were away from family. I mean, the COVID had hit. It was a lot of depression and stuff going on all over the world. You know, I think it affected the guys a lot, you know, so we weren't able to, you know, have as much fun as we should have. When we have fun, that's, that's when we are best. Um, when we're smiling and jumping and bouncing off the walls, that's, that's what we got to do. I mean, Coach even said it, if you got to bring a huge big, big box, and then big speakers, you know, bring it. <laughs> and this should make them feel good, too. Their fourth leading scorer, Jacob Grandison, is available. He had missed the last two weeks with a shoulder injury. Live in Pittsburgh, governed the NCAA tournament, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News.